Thank you. Uh, this half hour, we continue to honor our fallen on this Memorial Day. This is our big story this morning. This holiday is set aside to pay tribute to those who died serving in our armed services. It is always celebrated on the last Monday in May. The passing of the National Holiday Act of 1971 made Memorial Day an official holiday. My co-anchor Darwin Singleton joining us now live from the USS Alabama Battleship Memorial Park. And Darwin, uh, we, we watched as the, um, the ceremony took place live on TV. And you've been speaking to veterans throughout this morning. Tell us more about what this day means for so many proud Americans. Well, first of all, it's real simple. If you look at the wall here, these are people who died in Vietnam from our area in Alabama. Uh, and those names right there, the very reason that we had the ceremony that you saw just a little while ago where we raised the flag all the way to the top and then dropped it to half staff uh, with the POW missing an action flag there as well. And you see it's still flying at half staff and we'll do so until noon today. I want to be bringing Bill Tunnel here with the battleship because, you know, we never stop remembering our soldiers. And one of the coolest memorials, I guess I should say, is that beautiful battleship sitting right over there, yes, USS sir. Alabama. That is a working memorial to people who fought in World War II, isn't it? Yeah, for all those millions of young men that just dropped everything and went to war in, in Europe and in Asia. I mean, that was a, a great sacrifice, and, and we're here every day to remind everybody that, that uh, through their efforts, we're here free today. I wanted to share some video that I found on your website, thanks to the Alabama Pioneers, and that is when that battleship rolled off the assembly line and was finished and brand new. Oh, gosh, what an incredible day, February the 16th, 1942, and uh, the, the, the reports the next day say that it splashed the, the people on the other side of the river that it, when it went in. And, of course, you know, 70 million pounds hitting the water at one time. Who knows? Splash. Right. Where was that? Where was that ship built? That was in the Norfolk Navy Yard in Portsmouth, Virginia. Biggest ship that was ever built there. And even you go to their museums in, in Hampton Roads, uh, you're going to find a big uh, model of it in Alabama there. Okay, I'm hoping that you're seeing that video right now at home because it is phenomenal and it's from the National Archives. So that was a real treat when we discovered that. And real quickly here behind us, something else going up here. We've got about uh, 15 seconds to explain yeah. that. What is that building behind us going well, on? Well, Fallen Heroes Memorial dedicated to all those who have died in the war on terror since 9-11-2001, but specifically those who gave all in Iraq and Afghanistan. And we're dedicating on 9-11 this year. So. Right. Look forward to that. It continues here. You guys do a great job. Thank you. Bill Thank Tunnel you, with the Battleship Park. And uh, there you have it. We're really proud to be here this morning. And if you have someone that you lost in the military, we all do uh, remember them today. That's why we're here. And that's why we're here, Kelly.